see this one 39 raised to 22 divided by 7 so once again we have to proceed in the same manner uh, as I did earlier uh, first of all just remove the number that is multiple of 7 so I can remove 35 right so this number can be written as 35 plus 4 raised to 22 right 35 plus 4 raised to 22 so as I told you earlier you don't have to write this so now you are left uh, uh, as left with 4 raised to 22 okay so now your problem start from 4 raised to 22 now you can think of a number that is there in the power of 4 and that is closer to multiple of 7 so that you can think a number 63 and 64 63 is multiple of 7 and 64 is 4 cube so what I can do 4 raised to 22 I can write down as uh, 4 raised to 21 into 4 reason being a uh, 4 cube is 64 okay so 22 is not multiple of 3 so I cannot convert this into 4 cube so 4 raised to 20 21 is precisely 64 raised to 7 and then this is 4 okay 21 can be written as 3 into 7 so 4 cube raised to 7 okay so 4 cube is 64 64 raised to 7 now divide each the divide these um, um, divide this term by 7 64 can be written as 63 plus 1 raised to 7 so the remainder will be 1 raised to 7 so precisely that is 1 and this 4 so final remainder is 4 okay so you saw how easily uh, the problems based on remainders can be solved okay I take uh, more examples the next doubt in the series now see this 2 raised to 1003 divided by 25 uh, 25 and 2000 2 raised to 1003 if you can think of 1024 that will be great because that's 2 raised to 10 and that is just one less than multiple of 25 okay so what you can what you can do is 2 raised to I just can write it 2 raised to 1000 into 2 raised to 3 okay so 2 raised to 1000 can be written as 2 raised to 10 raised to 100 into this is 8 now 2 raised to 10 that is 1024 right so 1024 can be written as 1025 minus 1 so remainder will be from if I divide by 25 the remainder will be minus 1 raised to 100 I just explain it over here if you don't get confused 1025 minus 1 raised to 100 see once you get enough practice now you don't have to write each and every step because that will be really time consuming okay so 1024 can be written as 1025 minus 1 now this is multiple of 25 so the remainder will be just minus 1 raised to 100 so minus 1 raised to even number the remainder is 1 only from this step and 1 into 8 the final remainder is 8 okay so this way you can just speed up your process if you don't write anything then you will be able to speed up and if you write so many uh, things in your time will be really 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 uh, it's it's uh, I hope you are, you are able to understand what I'm trying to say okay now try the next one now this is bit advanced level problem a uh, bit advanced but not that difficult once one or two problem will make you comfortable see this is 4 is to 96 uh, divided by 6 and you have to find out the remainder now 4 and 6 both of them uh, contain four, uh, 2 a number that is 2 okay uh, 4 is to 96 is also multiple of 2 and 6 is also multiple of 2 so to make the problem easier what you can do you can take 2 as common right so first of all what I can do is instead of 4 is to 96 I just write it 2 raised to 96 two times okay because if 4 is 2 then 96 will be double to make the number same okay so that's 192 okay now it has to be divided by 6 now just follow certain steps 2 raised to 191 into 2 and this is 3 into 2 6 is 3 into 2 okay because 6 is 3 into 2 I broke this number 2 raised to 192 as 2 raised to 191 into 2 in fact this is uh, precisely 2 raised to 191 into 2 that is nothing but 2 raised to 192 right now I can take these two as common I am not 
cancelling this please be careful you cannot cancel this because your answer will be really wrong okay so don't cancel them just take them as common and find out the remainder in this case now further 2 raised to 191 2 can be written as 3 minus 1 and this is 191 so if you divide this entire expression by 3 the remainder will be minus 1 raised to 191 so that is precisely minus 1 okay now this 2 you had taken common so now multiply this minus 1 with this 2 okay because remainder is not minus 1 but it is minus 1 into 2 so that's minus 2 so remainder if it is negative then you can deduct this uh, number from 6 so 6 minus 2 that is 4 so your final remainder is 4 when 4 is to 96 is divided by 6 your remainder is 4 okay so the important thing that you have to keep in, in your uh, keep in your mind over here whenever you take this number as common you can take this not a problem to make the problem easier so but when you take this number common multiply whatever remainder you are getting from this step multiply this number with that particular remainder okay i have already explained this concept in my algebra sessions or basic number system session over there you can refer it once again so i hope you are clear let's take the next one 